Hey everyone, it's time for episode four. Today, Daddy Biden will be taking us through Mount Moon and getting us to Cerulean City. Joe, can you not start this episode being a sussy baka? Nobody, and I mean nobody, calls you Daddy Biden. After I mailed out those checks, everybody, and I mean everybody, was calling me Daddy Biden. Joe, if there is anything we learned from the last episode, it's that we have to be focused at all times. Look, you already have your first challenger of the episode. Dial in little bro. Don't you fucking dare call me little bro Obama. You're the one that almost made George leave the White House last episode. I'm very aware this is the longest episode so far and that I need to be prepared for everything. I'm not going to be an absolute liability like you were last episode. When did Gordon Ramsay replace Joe? He just cooked a five-star meal on you, Obama. I didn't have a great episode, but I'm not this liability like you make me out to be. You'll both fucking see when I bitch slap Misty next time I'm up. Speaking of that, Joe, we really need to do a good job leveling up George in these next two episodes. We have to make it as easy for Barack as we can against Starmie. You're not wrong about that one, Trump. I plan to level up George as much as I can, which means I'm going to take one for the team and battle every Zubat we encounter in this episode. We'll just skip the wild Pokemon encounters in this episode because there will be a lot of them, but George, Blackhawk, and Arnold all will be getting good experience today. That's what I like to hear, Joe. And good shit taking down that good-for-nothing bug catcher with no problem. He needs to go back to his forest where he belongs. Real talk, why are they still out here? Anyway, there's a potion up top over here, and then the TM for water gun, which I think will come in handy very soon. Come in handy soon? Joe, is your dementia acting up? None of our Pokemon can learn water gun. Unless the Pokemon you want is a water Pokemon that you want to catch after we get the old rod in a few episodes. You'll just have to see Barack. Just let Daddy Biden cook. Stop fucking calling yourself Daddy Biden, you cringe lord. Now I am interested to see what you do with Water Gun, even with all your sussy shit, though. Can you give us any hints? The only hint you'll get is that you're going to see it sooner than you think. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a beautiful young lady that needs some company from the Rizzler. Looks like we're in for a not top 10 highlight reel of sussy baka behavior from Joe this episode. But be careful, Joe. This trainer must be the sister of that lass who had the Jigglypuff last episode. Learn from Barack's mistakes and take it down. Barack's nearly catastrophic misplays are the blueprint for this battle. With George asleep, I'm not going to waste any time and just bring in Arnold right now. Will you two give me a fucking break? Joe, you started the game and lost to a Pidgey. Donald, you went through a forest of bug catchers. I had by far the hardest job to do, and I got us through with only one Pokemon fainting. Joe, you've got a long way to go in Mount Moon and Donald. You're going to have a lot of trainers on the way to Bill. If you're going to be toxic now, I'll make you regret that when you make mistakes. I'm the greatest Pokemon trainer ever, Obama. I don't make mistakes. Maybe watching me will show you how to play this game well. Just look at Joe. He took down this cliff area with no problems at all. He clearly learned from what he watched. I definitely pay attention from what you guys do so I can be the best trainer possible. I am going to head to the Pokemon Center really fast since we don't have any awakenings. Hopefully this is our last time outside until we get to the exit. Just wait, Trump. I'm sure you'll make just as many, if not more, mistakes as us. Do you plan on fighting all the trainers and getting every item, Joe? Definitely all the trainers and items on this floor. I won't get everything, but we will get everything important and get some valuable levels. When we first started this series, I definitely thought you were a liability, Joe. But you clearly are proving me wrong. You've been solid to start this episode, and you're saying all the right things. Keep it up, buddy, and we'll be out of here in no time. The best is yet to come this episode, Trump. You might even think I'm a good president after this episode. Don't push your luck, Joe. That will never happen. And next November, you're going to get fired. But now I'm really curious on what you plan on doing. Wait, I got it. You're going to catch a Clefairy, evolve it with a Moonstone, and then teach it Mega Punch and Water Gun, which we will both get in here. Donald J. Trump, you've done it again, you beautiful son of a bitch. That actually makes a lot of sense. Clefairy isn't overused in this game like we want and is also a very well-balanced Pokemon. But Joe, I thought you said you wanted a mid-game Pokemon. I'm confused. I'm not going to lie, that's actually a really good idea. You actually made me think about changing my Pokemon just now. The ability to learn Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Psychic, and Bubble Beam is undisputed in this game. But Speed is my favorite stat and Cliffable gets outsped by a lot of Pokemon. I'm sure we'll have other Pokemon that can learn those moves. 
All right, I literally have no idea what you're going to do then, so I can't wait to see. You'll just have to see Donald. We're almost to the surprise, and we're almost done with this floor. There's a rare candy here which should come in handy later. Thief, put my rare candy down right fucking now. Wait, what the what? fuck? Wait a minute, I know that voice. Is that you, Tucker? Yes, it is I, Tucker Carlson. And you liberal scum just stole my rare candy. What are you even doing here? We're on our way to Cerulean City so we can get our second gym badge. But I think the real question is, what are you doing here, Tucker? Well, if you have to ask Barack, you racial arsonist. Times have been tough ever since I got fired from Fox News. I lost my house and my wife left me. So I actually live here in Mount Moon right now until I get back on my feet. I do hope it's rather soon, however. I keep tripping on geodudes and Zubats are worse than bedbugs. Oh man, Tucker, I'm sorry for you. I feel so bad about that. Really? You do? Fuck no. After all the lies and shit talk since 2008, you deserve every fucking night you spend in here. Get the fuck away from us. El Mao, get fucked, Tucker. You're the reason Donald talks shit on me about unemployment numbers. Leave it up to the fucking liberals to kick a man when he's down. I thought you were supposed to be the party that cares about those down on their luck. You're right, Tucker, that's our bad. Hey, Joe, can you go get our bag of fucks to give? I'm on it, Obama. Here it is. And oh darn, looks like it's empty Barack. Sorry, Tucker, I guess we don't give a fuck. Ratio plus L plus get lost loser. Fine, I'll guess I'll just go. The Zubats are better than you two. All right, all right. Joe and Barack, while well, I have to concede, you guys are tag teaming Tucker like the Hardy Boys. Just give him a break. Maybe he should come with us. If anything, since he's been here for a while, he can guide us if we get lost. I mean, I guess we can use him as a human meat shield in case of a Zubat swarm. Fine, Donald, you can bring him along, but keep him on a leash. All right, everyone, remember, we're trying to become a hit on YouTube. Let's keep politics out of this. Fine, Donald, you're right. Tucker, you're welcome to join us and we'll keep it civil. Speaking of being civil, I have to give you credit, Joe. You're actually doing a great job so far in this episode. I appreciate that, Barack. We have three trainers left on this floor, and I don't think any of them will be a challenge. I'm just going to fight two more before taking the ladder to go get the Mega Punch TM that Donald mentioned earlier. You didn't even get all sussy when you saw the last. Joe, you really are dialed in. Keep fucking cooking. Donald, I know Joe is into little girls, but he's not like Andrew Tate. Posting anime wife is on X. He Wait, I'm battling a lass? Let's fucking go? The Rizzler is here, my fine lady. What brings you to this dark and isolated place all alone? Well, never mind then, I guess. God damn it, Tucker, did you really have to jinx that? If you're going to tag along with us, you have to know that Joe is prone to these outbursts. He can't control himself around last trainers. Lucky for us, this is the last last he will encounter today. After this, it's I think a youngster, a hiker, the fossil nerd, and some rockets. The last last? No. I'm gonna have to savor this last battle and totally not sniff her hair when nobody's looking. Stay with us, Sleepy Joe. Remember what I told you before this episode. If you can get through this without anybody on our team fainting, I'll take you to Dairy Queen for a blizzard. George is getting pretty low. You're right, Donald. Ice cream is my one true love. Black Hawk will finish this beautiful lass off. Your one true love? What about Jill? You've been married for like 45 years? Who? It's times like this I really wish I didn't sell my camera for food. How could you forget about the person who you proposed to five times? How demented can you be? Oh yeah, the lady that changes my diaper. She's a nice gal, just a little too old for me. I definitely would take this lass or the ice cream over her though. Can't blame you on that one, Joe. I had so many chances at Jill when we were in the Oval Office together. She was even smart enough not to ever wear a blue dress. Turned down every chance I got though. Well, of course you did, Barack. Why would you ever want to be with a woman when you're into men? Michael never had to worry about you and Jill. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe, you fucking asshole. I'm into women. Michelle is a woman. Grr. Ha 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 ha, did you actually make Obama go grr? Joe, you're fucking killing it today. Fuck you, Donald. How would you like it if everyone said you were married to a man? The only way somebody would ever say that is if they were blind. Melania is an absolutely stunning woman. I only buy the best because I am the best. I hate you all, just remember that. But getting back to the game, are you starting to lose it, Joe? You pass the ladder where you get mega punch. I'm very aware, Barack, but I'm cooking right now. I have to take out this little kid to dinner. I mean, out in a Pokemon battle anyway, so I'm just going to take care of it now. Just keep going this way. Joe, you don't want to go down that ladder. One of those Team Rocket guys are downstairs, and they are bad news. Last week, they tied me to the wall and threw Geodudes at me. Please don't go down there. Damn, Tucker, they made you look like a little bitch, but don't worry about them. 
You're with us and thanks to George, Arnold, and Blackhawk. We can't be touched. You better be sure, Donald, I live in that corner of this room because they never go over there. I did take your word as the gospel for eight years, so I'm gonna trust you on this one. Yes, it's really me, it's Donald. Breathe it in, I know it's a lot. The hair, the bod, when you're staring at a demigod. What can I say except you're welcome for Are you the seriously doing this Disney shit for the second episode in a row? Donald, you're a grown man. How can you like that shit? Barack, you uncultured buffoon. That was a song by the legendary superstar Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You need to know your role and shut your mouth. Oh, you're just into quoting The Rock today, Donald. I see how it is. Here's one of my favorite quotes from him for you. It goes something like, Shut up, bitch! Oh my God! Get fucking roasted. <laughs> Donald McDonald, born June 14th, 1946, died brutally August 24th, 2023, cause of death, fourth degree, burns at the hands of the 44th. All right, all right, that was a good one, Barack. I didn't know you had it in you, but it's time to focus up because we have our first team rocket encounter to deal with. Oh no, that's the guy that threw the Gia dudes at me. This is a bad idea, guys. Ah! Okay, first of all, if anybody knows how to make proper screaming noises on Eleven Labs, can you please tell us how? I have no idea how to do it clearly. Secondly, this bitch sent out a Zubat Tucker. Relax, you fucking cave dweller. How dare you, Donald? Cave dweller is such a hate-filled term in 2023. If I still had access to the internet, I would have you canceled. I do have to say good job, though. Joe, you took down his Zubat. Next up is his Ekans, which is how they tied me to the wall. Looks like two Thundershocks should take it down, little Tucker, and oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This bitch is really going to use rap? This move is so fucking annoying in Gen 1. Why couldn't they have just made this a one-turn animation like any other two to five hit effect? 100% agree with you there, Joe. And Tucker, don't think I didn't notice that Pokemon Stadium pronunciation of that annoying garden snake. Shout out to the throwback. Those were the days, Nintendo 64, using that D-pad for the first time in a game and being so confused, and who could forget electricity? I really fucking miss that. But hooray! That evil Team Rocket member is defeated. Serves you right, asshole. Electricity really is a great thing. Good thing I'm the president and have 17 backup generators in the White House in case the power ever goes out. Well, with that out of the way, I think it's just about time for the surprise in this episode. I just need to pick up this one item over here. And after that, I need to have a nice chat with this husky fellow who looks like Donald. Fuck you, Biden. I don't look anything like, wait a minute, that item. And what level is, oh my God, Joe, you're going to, holy shit, is it time already? I think you're starting to catch on here, Trump. Have you figured it out yet, Obama? Well, let's see here. You picked up a moonstone. You said you weren't catching a cleffable. So the only Pokemon that can use that on our team would be, holy shit, it's Arnold. Joe, we're going to have a Nidoking after this battle, aren't we? Yes, we are. Thanks to Pokemon Yellow making it nearly impossible to get good moves through leveling up, it doesn't matter if we evolve Arnold right after it becomes a Nettorino. This battle against the harder mode version of Brock will provide all the experience for Arnold to get to level 16, and right after that he evolves again. That's it, I'm putting in an order for 10 teleprompters and investing in your dementia pill company. Not only have you been cooking up a dish that would make that food critic in Ratatouille have a flashback with your battles, but now having Arnold reach Nidoking, Joe, I'm so fucking proud of you. You're definitely getting that blizzard after this episode. In fact, we're all going to McDonald's after this. Lunch is on the big D. Oh my God, real food. Thank you so much, Donald. That's really nice of you, Trump. I promise I won't clean you out. This is the best day ever. First I get a blizzard, then I get a McFlurry. Oh my God, oh my God. I'll remember to bring fresh diapers for this. Make sure you do, Joe. I've been told the Secret Service might be planning a revolt on the Oval Office since you've shit your pants in the presidential limo. The last four times you went on an ice cream run. Uh, fake news. I would never do something like that. Hey, anyway, look, guys, let's totally forget we heard that and focus on the show that's about to begin. Normally, I would attack you for stealing my line, but oh my God, here we go. The first part of this incredible double evolution, Arnold is growing up right before our very eyes. Oh my fucking God, ah! Uh Oh, amazing, Arnold is a Nettorino. Yes, he is Barack, drink it all in. But since we like using quotes today, this time I have one for you. But I'm not done yet. Call right now and I'll triple the offer. Oh yes, Billy, 
triple it into the third evolution, and I won't make it weird with noises like you, Obama. Oh, who am I kidding? Yeah. Oh, this is so amazing. I can't contain myself. Ah, uh, Nido King, welcome to the team. I think I'm gonna cry. Are you guys seriously getting this excited over this? Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Tucker. Tucker. Okay, okay, fine. Just stop making noises, please. Getting back to this beautiful moment, like I said earlier, we are going to use Water Gun in this episode. It will go perfect on our new fully evolved Terminator and will really help with some type coverage we were lacking early on. Yeah, I really like that idea. Now when we run into ground types, we have a surefire move to take down the opponent. I know Donald has been saying it a lot, but you really have been cooking this episode. You've been doing so well, I might even give you the N-word pass off camera. That's the highest honor an old man like me could ever have. You never even gave me that pass during my eight years as your VP. I would make noises, but I have a cave to wrap up. You guys have really inspired me. I think it's time for me to get out of this cave as well. I'm going to rebuild my career as soon as we get out of this place. No more eating dirt for old Tucker. That's the spirit, Tucker. It's about time you started acting like a man again. Only one more room to go through, and we're back in the glorious 8-bit sunlight. I bet you even want to fight that rocket on the other side of the ladder. Another one? Never mind. Never fucking mind. I'm going back to my corner. Don't worry, little Tucker. Daddy Biden is here to give this excuse of a Pokemon trainer a spanking. Joe, never say the words Little Tucker and Daddy Biden in succession ever again. I think the length of this episode is starting to get to you. To be honest, Barack, Joe's first sentence of this episode was some sussy shit. We'll never be able to control this creepy election stealing geriatric. If the shock collar training didn't work, nothing will. I forgot about that. I spent like 200 bucks on Amazon for that collar. Such a huge waste of money. Wait a second. When did you guys put a shock collar on me? I don't remember that. Joe, remember that time we told you that you were turning into a Pikachu? You weren't actually starting to generate electricity in your body. We put a shock collar on you when you were taking one of your six afternoon naps. But why would you do that? I literally called every crystal store on the East Coast looking for a Thunderstone so I could become a Raichu. It was because you nearly started World War III in a game of Among Us, you dumbass. You told Queen Elizabeth she had such a rocking bod in her teens. And, and might I add in the very same meeting, then you told Putin and Kim that they had no chance to get a baddie like her since they had no game. Oh yeah, that was a fun game until that Canadian snake Trudeau shot me in the back in admin. Totally unrelated, but do you think they have oil in Canada? Did all of this stuff actually happen? It really fucking did, Tucker. And that was nothing compared to what happened during the Rocket League 3's tournament at last year's United Nations. Oh, shut up, Obama. It wasn't that bad. Not that bad? Joe, did you seriously say that? Joe, you literally had to be held back because you tried to stab Emmanuel Macron's eyes out. Well, maybe if that baguette-eating bitch could hit a simple ceiling shot, I wouldn't have lunged over the table and tried to blind him with a pen. That actually seems like a perfectly reasonable reaction, to be fair. The worst I've ever seen is when Lauren Boebert pulled out the heater at CPAC on Marjorie Taylor Greene. MTG demoed Lauren in overtime, leading to the game-winning goal. Yeah, MTG just lost any chance of becoming my VP. Nobody would ever vote for me if that became public knowledge. I'm not gonna lie, talking about the good old days, I almost forgot we were playing Pokemon. What fossil are you gonna take, Joe? We all said we wanted Pokemon in the mid-game, so I don't think it really matters since this Pokemon will never see our team. We probably won't even revive it. Who knows? But we're definitely going with the Dome Fossil. All those praise Helix Jabronis will get mad, but Kabutops absolutely slaps way harder than Omastar. Joe, you uncultured buffoon. We must all praise Helix if we want salvation in this world. Okay, Tucker, whatever you say. Hey, how's your corner of the cave? Some real salvation, right, Bozo? Glory to the Dome. Get that trending YouTube. The Church of Helix doesn't have shit on us. Personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect, but that's just me. However, another W you take for you, Joe. Do you want the snail from rock bottom or literal swords for arms and hands? It's fossilized scyther. Watching the Terminator cook is definitely satisfying, but I think it's time to bring in Blackhawk. He's been pretty neglected throughout this cave. Blackhawk definitely understands. The next gym belongs to George, and this area really isn't the best place for him to excel. His time will come, and he can take out this coughing easily. I know there's one more battle in this cave, but I just can't remember what it was. Was it Giovanni? You can't fucking be serious, Joe. How can you forget the iconic battle that comes after this? Joe, I know you're 450 years old, and I know the dementia is getting worse. But Trump is right. 
This battle is iconic. There's no way you forgot who it was. Think hard. Well, uh, I know in Pokemon Red and Blue this was the last trainer. What was it in Yellow Shit? I don't remember. Please don't tell me it's more Team Rocket grunts. Close, but not exactly, Joe. Pick up the dome fossil and think for a second, you demented fuck. Does Misty give us a warm-up battle? If so, I hope she's wearing that bikini from her fire red sprite. I'd ask how can you remember a sprite from an exact game, but then I remember who we're talking about, and it's pretty obvious why. Before Chris Hansen busts through the cave wall, why don't you just shut up and watch what happens next? Joe, could you please say all of this stuff again for me on camera? When we get out of Mount Moon so I can get my career back, I'll get you an ice cream cone if you do it. Wait, who is that? Oh my God, how could I have forgotten? Wow, I'm actually an idiot. Better late than never, Joe. Now just kick their ass and we can go to Cerulean City. You got it, Obama. Butch and Cassidy are about to get absolutely destroyed at the hands of our team. Obama, please remove all the pens from this room. I'm just going to pretend this never happened. Yeah, fuck that. Joe, you fucking deserve this. Enjoy blindness, bitch. Wait, what secret service? Help me. Ah. Everybody sorry about that. Basically, while we were gone, Obama jumped over Biden's desk and tried to give Joe the Emmanuel Macron treatment. In his rage, Obama hit the computer and the recording software messed up. So secret service was not only trying to save Joe's life, but also fix our setup. As you can see, I had to take over to beat Jesse and James and are on to Cerulean City. All I can say is, wow, I never thought I would ever see something like that in my life. Anyway, I can't wait to start again in Cerulean. Wait a minute. Oh my God, it's so bright. Fuck this. Tucker, holy shit. Tucker just ran back into Mount Moon. I guess he's going to have to stay there until his eyes adjust to light. I'm sure he won't get attacked by a swarm of Zubats or something. Jesus Christ, my fucking head. Where am I? Oh, hey, buddy, welcome back. Obama kicked your ass over your lack of Pokemon knowledge, so I had to finish up the episode for us. Barack's in the cool-down room, so we'll go see him in a little while. Sure. Whatever, just do the outro, I guess. I need to go find a bump of white magic from Hunter's stash to get me back on my feet. Bye, everyone. I guess that leaves just me. Well, all right, everybody, that will do it for episode four. We tried a lot of things here, so we hope you liked it. Before we go, though, I would also like to announce that this series will be doing a future collaboration with the Pokemon President's YouTube channel and their Pokemon Black playthrough. We'll have more details soon to come for you all, but I will put a link to episode one of their Pokemon Black series in the description of this video. He's about to get 10K subs, so if you haven't already, throw him a sub. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next week.